see, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Renser, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humanity. Oh, please don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of tomaine poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him. But you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid. Cause it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for rep detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slimming tonight, Slim. I thought you were on special assignment. I wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no! There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What's Guza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds.
find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cub they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even, quite a pair. I'd never seen dead animals before, and I never wanted to again. I didn't want to look too closely. The boys back at the lab would tell me all I needed to know. My precious one. She was my baby. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of chinyens worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point, that. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer. Last May, I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? A piece of chrome. A piece of chrome. A piece of chrome. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault.
scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black. Judging from the distance between the prints, I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the. Hmm. Hmm. Video screens were everywhere in this damn city. Sometimes I wondered if they were watching us. I usually just change the channel, but to each his own. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. All my animals. A candy bar. Yuck. Well, isn't that cute? Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. There's a test I'd like you to take. No. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. It won't take too long. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Uptown. Your office already has my address. You see a documentary about 20th century tuna boats. At the end, you feel like taking up fishing. Don't be ridiculous. They don't show such garbage on television. Your child comes home with a black eye. Childhood is full of harsh lessons. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I'd avoid him. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead cape buffalo. This test was written by a psychopath. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste, each more gruesome than the last. You don't have anything to say? What's the point? You're visiting the dentist. At the receptionist's desk is a huge bowl of fresh cut flowers. I'd find another dentist. You rent a mountain cabin. 
On the walls, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace, a full stag with developed horns. What do you expect me to say? You don't have to say anything. The Voight Kampf measures. I understand how it works. Describe in single words only the good things that come into your mind about your mother. Gentle. Loving. Comforting. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. My precious one. She was my baby. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone, and he's the very re Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. A chopstick wrapper. A chopstick wrapper. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft. The small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. Hmm. Animal Shop, Chinatown, Police Station, Your Apartment, Chinatown. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. Excuse me. Excuse me. McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Got to mix more out to back. You're a pretty smart looking cat. You wanna make some money? Pay me large, you got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a boat. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Excuse me, pal. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. How long has that chef worked for you? Zuban? Just months. Superior chef makes all kinds of new soup. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chops that come from Yoshi's restaurant supplies. What's real fresh tonight? Nothing down, my boy. Really? No, sir. Any luck? Something interesting arrives tomorrow. See you later, Howie. Howie says you're a master chef. Do not come back here. Dare bad. This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl, about 14 years old, with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her!
Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. See you later, Howie. with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Maggie, come here, girl. Good doggy. Portrait of the sleep deprived. Crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures. Scanning video disk. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to client database. Run sitter crime scene.
A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. Run Center Crime Scene. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Thank you. 